Hello, hello, hello. Hello, you beautiful, wonderful people. I'm Renee, and welcome to the channel. And behind me, you see some of the fun Christmas stuff is out. And yes, I'm a little late. Oh, and welcome to Candlelight Treasures. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about some of these vignettes and um, my Christmas decorations. Um, that I have, whether they're vintage or not vintage, and how to put some of them together, and yeah, I know I'm really late in getting this video up, but there's also been a lot of technical difficulties, and we will talk about that later too. So, on this shelf is these twigs that if you remember, you saw me get at Goodwill. I also got this, um, and I do have to say, this is um, the first time that I have had 90% of all my Christmas decorations on bookshelves. Because um, I wanted to show you the idea of putting vignettes together. And Romanda helped a lot in putting the vignettes together. And is Romanda to be like mine? Absolutely not. Um, these two cute little bears are, are just cute. And I like purple. I have a Mickey and Minnie out in the garage that I still need to list that are dressed in purple. Purple is my favorite color. Um, so I reused the vase again. We saw it in the spring with all the flowers in it. And I've now sold the flowers. Uh, we used this for fall without the uh, cranberries or bittersweet. And this is the gold tree. Tin that I got and it's quite tall maybe 20 inches and um, this is actually um, a burlap bag that was my mom's and there's a little Santa in a long row and I will tell you that you probably will not see a fat little jolly dressed in red Santa at my house um, because I don't like the commercialized Santa. I like the old St. Nicholas and um, so that's why I do the Santas in the long robe. And on the next shelf, I have, and this is very modern, I don't know how long I've had this, but uh, this is my little snowman pantry. No, not snowman pantry, sorry. Maybe I'm talking, but it's here in the back of it. A little snowman wax warmer, and you only use them with a little tea light. And one of the things I like about snowmen is you can keep them out after Christmas. But Santa up here might go away, but the snowman I can stay. And we have, that is actually a trivet back there, but it is adorable. It is a snowman. Let me move the bird. You remember when I got the bird? Birds are nice to have during Christmas and recently, but not for winter. It's snow time. It's snow time. It's snow time. And look at that adorable. He has a nest on his head. So he's there for the birds, too. Um, our little, our littlest nativity set um, that we have. And if you remember, this is... Um, Let's see, I think Romanda found this when we were in Hot Springs. So it is at least vintage. And this little lady right here is very old. She's very old. I got her um, from my mom. She probably, you know, needs work. That's the reason I wear the washer because she might have straw in there or something. And this little lady down here is a 2001 keepsake bear. And will probably stay in the family for a long time. I think it was one of the Christmas gifts to Romanda. This candle is, that's what it's, it's supposed to have a candle in it. But, and I used to have three. And it is leaded glass. And unfortunately, just like this one here, the other two, somebody put something too heavy on top of them. So now I only have one. And you remember this that we got. A little keepsake trinket box, candy box. 
And this back here is very special. This is a um, Christmas present to everyone from Miranda, and I won't read it to you. You would probably get upset if I did. Miranda, she's so nice. She's bumped a little bit. It's got a little, a little spot on her, on her little foot right here. We're going to have to figure out I can spot that. This is one of my newer snowmen. I think back, back a couple of years ago. And um, you could use him as a doorstop um, just as a decoration. He's just one of those things. He's just so cute. And, you know, I have a problem with cute. And again, let me hold him up from the bottom so I don't break him so it doesn't fall off. Again, one of the St. Nicholas statues, and sometimes he gets moved around the house and gets put in different places, but right now he's down on the bottom, on the bottom shelf, keeping watch. And one of my, probably one of my very oldest Christmas decorations is this church. It does have a light in it. It is a, uh, electric, um, my great aunt made that church and painted it and I also have two Christmas trees that she made and painted except the Christmas trees are still out in the shed these two little bears I'm gonna put them up here just so you can see them better um, I got these sometime this summer at Goodwill look stickers still on them. I paid a dollar ninety nine a piece for them because they were just cute. And these are uh, things that uh, will be nice for Christmas, and they will be nice to leave out after. There are bears out playing in the snow. And also on here are our little penguin salt and pepper tray trees that are just cute. I think the bears are cuter, but uh, down here are some of my old pins. And, um, well, you can see, you can see his eyeballs. <laughs> Get this of the pins out of the way. He's also, um, missing his hat. Oh, he fell off the shelf. <laughs> I have to keep him in the back because um, the dogs will try to eat him. This little guy right here is very new. Um, I got him this summer when we were in Kansas City and we went to Lewisburg, Kansas and went thrifting. They had... Um, a shop that we went into, and this was in their 50% off room. I'm sure it's made in China. And then on the way home, I broke his scarf, but I fixed it. So I figured since I broke his scarf, he probably needs to be mine. And if you have Christmas decorations, you can mix the old ones um, with the newer ones. It doesn't have to be all new every year or just new Christmas decorations are just old. Unless that's your style and that's what you like. Um, I mean, I know there's, there's some people that say they want the, the old, old stuff. Um, my sister and her husband um, did the old bubble lights and um, they were very pretty. Very hard to replace and expensive. And, um, this is going to be our Christmas tree this year. He's kind of little, but he's going to be our Christmas tree. Because I'm not going to be here for Christmas. I'm going to be home. And hopefully we'll do some filming and we'll get some really, um, go some really fun places that we've got picked out. And then I have up here, or Amanda has up here. Oh, sorry. I just ran into... I just ran into my angel that I bought. 
I brought him, him her. I brought the angel. We'll just call the angel. I brought the angel again. And he was outside. But oh, and I probably should have this at the basement. He yesterday was the when the tornadoes happened in Kentucky and Missouri and all those states south of here and all the horrible destruction and death and they're saying that there's a town in Kentucky, I believe they said it was Maysville, it was almost totally destroyed. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, our thoughts and, and prayers are with each and every one of you that, that have been affected in any way with this tragedy and our prayers are with all of the first responders. Um, it was, we heard about the um, candle factory first and then they were talking about that it, it could be a tornado and about that time um, we went to bed and then we woke up and as most people woke up the next morning and heard about all the destruction and um, my husband and I are going to sit down and think about what we can do and find out what they need and see if we can help and um, I would suggest that everybody, you know, go give blood if you can, um, send money to the Red Cross. This is one of those times that, you know, there are going to be people that are going to want to send blankets and, and send food. But right right now, right now, the Red Cross needs money so they can they can get the food to the first responders and, and so they can get blankets to the people that need it right now. If you take the time to go out and buy a blanket and ship it and figure out where to ship it to, it's going to take more days. Right now you can send Red Cross money. And um, I believe they're from... What does Governor say? Um, I think there's a Northern Kentucky Tornado Relief Fund also. Um, that would be a wonderful place also um, to donate to. And again, our, our thoughts and prayers are with, are with all those, those families. Um, we will then go from that back to a few decorations. But let's um, just go ahead and... I'll just show you this top shelf and then we'll be done with this video. This is, uh, this is new, very new. Um, this is, is very old. This was um, from one of the gifts that my mom gave me, but I will never get rid of. One of those will have to claw it out of my hands. Um, these are little, they look like cutie pies, don't they? Look like my, oh, my little cutie clowns, um, but they're not. They're just little clowns. And again, it's the um, older Santa in the full robe that you will see as decoration in my house. And this is my coffee. This is that wonderful basket I got at Goodwill that tells you I didn't know what I was going to do with. I found out what I was going to do with it. It has my coffee pods in it. And um, again, this is uh, a snowman who is wood. So again, I can get him out for Christmas and then I can leave him out and oh my coffee's late but I love coffee and this one is old okay hold on let me move my coffee this little guy right here but he's still cute and he's still a snowman and he's still like this one um, we're going to end it here for now and remember as always you are blessed to be a blessing so go out and make today a great day and Merry Christmas